Yes. Well, one of our servants, a man named Tokunaga, informed us that he had come into possession of an unusual jewel. Isn't that the butler we saw coming out of the item shop? The same. It seems that he had just purchased the core when we saw him. Could you please call Mr. Tokunaga for us? What could that be? I I it's Lady Sellers. Lady Sellers has been kidnapped by Sir Lloyd. What? Sir Bud kidnapped Lady Sellers? Sir Bud? Are you talking about Lloyd? We'll explain later. Which way did he go? Out the second floor window. We have to go after him. Is he? Tenebrae, can you sense Glaucius around here? I do sense a presence getting further from here. However, energy from another Centurion's core is causing some interference. Another core? Like Lumens. Lloyd has that. No. This would be Solom's core, I believe. Why would Solom's core be here? We can wonder about that later. Let's split up and start searching. Excuse you. It's you. Celos Wilder. Huh. Never expected to see you in my neck of the woods. We don't have time for that. Lloyd kidnapped your sister. What are you talking about? It's true. Huh? Lloyd. Lloyd Irving. I... I've been waiting for you. Come back here! Damn it, I lost him. You're saying that was Lloyd? Of course. Are you blind? Don't make me laugh. That's not Lloyd. You idiot! Your sister's been kidnapped! Hmm. Don't get your britches in a bunch, kid. Lloyd wouldn't do something like that to sell us. That was not Lloyd.
Where are you going? I'm going home. If someone's gone to all the trouble of kidnapping Celis, I'm sure they left me some sort of message. You come too. You want to see Lloyd, right? Master Zelos! Lady Zelos has been... The kid already filled me in. Duke Bryant and Miss Sheena are currently out looking for Lady Zelos. Regal and Sheena? It looks like Lloyd's already skipped town. Oh. Marta. Emil. Sebastian, tell me exactly what happened. I was the one who witnessed it, Master Zelos. I had presented Lady Celis with an exceptional gem called the Glockius. I had just begun explaining its origins when it happened. Sir Lloyd suddenly came in through the window. He grabbed Lady Celis along with the gem and escaped. You mean Lloyd has Glockius's core? I'm sorry, Marta. If only I caught him. And there's been no word from Lloyd? We have yet to hear anything. That's weird. What's so weird about it? Lloyd's after all of the cores. Then why go to the trouble of kidnapping Celis? I'm telling you, that's not Lloyd. You're wrong. It was Lloyd. I saw him with my own eyes. What would you know about Lloyd anyway? You really think he smells like that? Smell? Yep. When he ran by me, there was this horrible stench. I thought I was going to pass out. Lloyd's never been the sort to wear cologne. And even if he was, he'd never put on something that putrid. Now that you mention it, it did smell a bit familiar. Was it owed to seduction? That's it! Wait, that would mean Dex was disguised as Lloyd? Hey, you guys want to enlighten the rest of us as to what you're talking about? Um, well, you see...
Hmm, Ratatosk, huh? I gotta say, that's quite the tale. So anyway, there's a good chance the Lloyd we saw was actually this Vanguard guy Dex in disguise. Judging from the smell, I think so. All right, come with me for an audience with His Majesty. Let Regal and Sheena know when they come back. Understood. An audience? The House of Wilder is second in status only to the royal family. We have to report this immediately. Let's go. Zelos, chosen one. I'm told that Bud has kidnapped Celis. To be more accurate, your majesty, she was taken by an imposter of his. We believe the Vanguard may be involved. Excuse me, why do you call him Bud? Because he's my Bud. You say those barbarians who call themselves the Silveranti Liberation Front committed this crime? How awful! Your Majesty, Duke Bryant and Sheena Fujibayashi of Mizuho have arrived. I would speak with them. It seems matters have become quite grave. Your Majesty, we come bearing new information about the current situation. Scouts from my village reported seeing a Rayard overhead flying east. East of here? That could be the Cape Fortress. Marta? The Vanguard has a base in the Cape Fortress. So, Marta dear, how do you know something like that? Well... Former Vanguard, huh? A member of the Vanguard? Stop, please! Marta has nothing to do with the Vanguard anymore. And right now, my sister's life is more important. Put away your weapons! So far, the Vanguard hasn't made any attempt to contact me regarding my sister's kidnapping. Which is why I suspect they've abducted Celis in order to get to Lloyd rather than me. Why would they do that? Emil, the Vanguard's after the cores too, correct? That would include whatever cores Lloyd has. I see. They took Celis so they can make a trade with Lloyd. Well, it could just be coincidence. Celis came in possession of the core. They set out to steal it and ended up grabbing her when they realized she'd be useful as well. Dex, how could he? We'll need to infiltrate the Vanguard's base. Your Majesty, in case our plan should fail, I would request the Royal Army be ready to take up the search for Celis. Of course. I'll have my generals make the necessary preparations immediately. As for Mizuho... I've already asked my people to start a search. Excellent. But Chosen One, shouldn't you consider staying behind in the city? If I don't get some thrills in now and then, I'll grow old before my time. Well then, Your Majesty, we will take our leave. to say something before we go. Is something the matter? I'm sorry. 
What are you apologizing for? It's about Lloyd. I've been thinking. What if all of these terrible things I've been blaming on Lloyd were actually done by his imposter? Emil! I don't know. Maybe this is the only time it's his imposter. Of course, it could turn out that the real Lloyd is responsible for this. But every time I hear one of Lloyd's friends talk about him, it's hard to believe he's the same person who did all of those terrible things. So... I appreciate what you're trying to say, but we have no idea what the truth is. Yes, I know. It's just, I finally realized I can't jump to conclusions when there's so much doubt about what's happened. That's why I wanted to say I'm sorry. Then let's call a truce. When you gave me the evil eye, I pegged... Zelos, you don't have to talk like that. It was probably Emil in Ratatosk mode that gave you the evil eye. Indeed. It seems that Emil gets a bit abrasive when he enters this so-called Ratatosk mode. Stop it! Stop talking about the other Emil like that! That Emil is Emil too, and he's doing the best he can! So please stop talking about him like this! Ah, right. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm afraid I went too far as well. I'm sorry, Emil. No, I'm fine. Well, moving on. I think it's about time we left. Sorry to rush you all, but I'm worried about Celis. Yes, I'm sorry for delaying. Let's get moving. Damn them. I don't care if they're the Vanguard or what. Anybody who even looks at Celis the wrong way is gonna answer to me. After I string them up by their necks from the summit of Mount Fuji, I'll tie them to a sack of bricks and dump them into Flanor Harbor. Wow, Regal and Sheena weren't kidding. Y yeah. What did they say? They said you cared a lot about your sister. That you'd never forgive anybody who hurt her. Essentially, they said you seem to have a thing for your sister. Regal, Sheena, come here a sec. No, that's not what we meant. Tenebrae! <laughs> Oh, why, hello, Miss Jubilees. I see you're keeping that sumptuous body of yours in top shape. Say it again and I'll smack you. Ow! You always warn me after you do it. Nice to see you haven't changed, Sheena. Nice to see you still can't have a conversation without slobbering over breasts. The Chosen's personality is the picture of constancy. You haven't changed a bit yourself, Duke Bryant. Chosen, we just saw each other the other day at the salon of Countess Rattenmeyer. He was checking out her voluptuous, aristocratic curves, no doubt. What's that, Sheena? Do I detect a note of jealousy? What? It's almost as if they'd never been apart. I expected the Vanguard's base to be better guarded than this. No kidding. Hey Marta, you know this place, right? Is there a place where they could imprison someone they've kidnapped? I've heard about this base, but I've never actually been here, so it's hard to say. I see. Looks like we'll just have to search the place inside out. Oh well, let's go. Yes.
so this is the Vanguard's base. Man, what a total dump. Making it ornate would serve little purpose. But what kind of scum locks a guy's poor sister up in a diseased rat hole like this? You were expecting one of those immaculate, luxurious, revolutionary soldier camps? A little of you goes a long way, Tenny. I might say the same thing about you, sir. You, you got, got that, that right. right. Come on, guys, where's the love? Such a hurry to die. Great land, the <laughs> <laughs> Power sky! Power sail! <laughs> 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 Salus is okay. If she's not, I'll make sure the Vanguard pays with their lives. I'm sorry. I wish I could say it's fine. Don't worry about it. But I can't. Zelos, don't you think that's a little harsh? Sheena, behind you! Huh? Sheena, look out! No sweat. Huh? You gotta be kidding me! What? Again? What a klutz. <sighs> I'll go look for her. You all keep looking for Celis. Right. Good luck, Regal.
Sheena was an assassin, right? What's she doing falling into a low-tech trap like that? From what we've heard, she struggled with this a bit in your previous journey as well. And this isn't the first time it's happened on this trip either. For real? Yeah, which reminds me, I've seen more pitfalls on this one trip than I have in my entire life. <sighs> about Celis, but I really hope Sheena's okay too. I know. Why do bad things always happen in pairs? How about you, Marta? Are you doing okay? Huh? I mean, everything that's happened with the Vanguard lately. It's hard to believe I used to be in a group that would do all this. But you're not in it anymore. You're with us now. Yeah. Thanks, Emil. your eyes on this. Come sample my one-of-a-kind gourmet cuisine. Whoa, look at it all. Everything from appetizers to dessert. I had no idea you were such a talented cook. Well, what did you expect? High-class men have high-class tastes. This is great. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Not so fast. Your seat's over there. Over there? But there's only bread and water over there. And what's wrong with that? Bread is quite a luxury, and I'm such a gentleman, I even arrange for sparkling water. No need to be polite, eat as much as you like. Marta, dear, step right this way. Isn't this taking the whole chivalry thing a little too far? You want to die? Ready for this? Against the great Zelos. Great? Yeah. 